<laughs> she's so different. <laughs> that Kara, she's so cool. I've been getting my nails done for 20 plus years. I started going with my mom when I was in junior high, but recently I decided maybe I'll branch out from the typical French manicure, two or three colors I use. And I discovered a place that is doing nails differently. So today I wanted to take you with me to talk nail trends and the changes that are happening in nail salons. Let's go. This is Molly Reckman. She is the Hi. owner of Spruce Nail Shop here at Over the Rhine in Cincinnati. We are is our natural nail shop, which means we only work on the natural nail. All of our polishes are at least five free, which means they're free of the five most harsh toxins. And we do have a gel that we use, but the gel is also five free and it cures under an LED light, not a UV light, so it's much safer. When we kind of came across this idea, it seemed kind of like a perfect way for it to all come together. What did you notice when you were deciding to open Spruce that was trending? Because I feel like you're doing something that I have not seen in a lot of places. I think when people associate like nail art with nails, they think of like the long acrylic nails with airbrushing and, you know, the gems and it's just really not that anymore if you you know are doing gel or something like that and you get like a christmas tree and then what do you do like the day after christmas and you're like boxed in with this like big christmas tree on you and it doesn't have to be so like distinctive i think it can be much more like abstract we're going to be talking about three different nail trends right now that are really popular um, this season but also heading into the new year are going to carry over and so one of those is going to be negative space. The other we're gonna be talking about actual nail art and the colors that are being used right now that are really popular. And then we're also gonna be talking about foils. And I'm not talking about the foil that goes in your hair. I'm talking about something very different which has been wildly popular. So what, what are foils? There's gold, there's copper, there's silver. So you can kind of do like whatever kind of metallic you like. And what we do is we take it with tweezers and just kind of pull apart and you just press it on top of the polish so nothing's adhering to the nail there's no nail glue it's right on top of like a base coat or a polish and then we just put top coat over it and it gives this really cool kind of like metallic um, look to the nails which has been really fun it looks very fancy yes <laughs> it is very fancy we've been getting our nails done for so long I mean yeah. I started going to my mom when I was in junior high I was the same way I kind of saw it as like a chore that I had to do it's like I've got to go to the grocery store, I've got to do this, I've got to go get my nails done. And I think it kind of took all of the fun and the pampering out of it that was the whole point of getting our nails done. Even if you're not coming to Spruce, like I still want people to be asking the questions where they go, you know, was my implements sterilized? Are my files new? Are the employees looked after? People are starting to ask those questions, which has been really, really good to see. There should be no fear in the nail salon. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't be afraid to like say, hey, is this clean? <laughs> Nails are cleaned up, they look a lot better, and now we're gonna get ready to polish. Ready to go? So the first trend we're gonna tackle today is actual nail art. But again, this is nail art that is more abstract. Let's talk colors. Yeah. This is a gorgeous fall color. What colors that are popular right now? You know, fall we're seeing like a lot of like the typical like, you know, deep, dark kind of vampy colors. But then it also kind of is fun to kind of throw in these pops of like the kind of clay, orangey colors, and then the quirky neutrals, like the, you know, khakis and the olive green. French manicures are very few and far between now. And when we do um, do French manicures, a lot of people kind of tend to go more um, different with their colors. So instead of like the white top, maybe they'll do black or red or something kind of crazy and metallic. I've always wanted to know if your nail polish is supposed to match your toe polish or if that's too matchy match. I never match, ever. For the foiling, I kind of wanted to throw um, some abstract brush strokes in underneath. Almost kind of like painting that you would do on a canvas. So what we can do here is kind of like just kind of throw in some brush strokes and like things like that. And then 
So we you're glad treating that, the right. nail polish like you would paint on a canvas. Yeah, like what we kind of like to say is that, you know, it's really just a tiny canvas that we're working with. So I was gonna show you the negative space on this one. Okay. And while that's all drying, and then we'll go back and add the detail with that. So with negative space, the big um, draw here is especially for gel, if people are worried about the growth line, which is like here, and they say, well, my nails grow too fast for gel. So we always say, well, if you do negative space, then you really can't see that growth line. And as it grows out, it kind of looks like it's a part of the design. Two big negative space designs that we've had that are really popular is the half moon which is kind of following this shape, or we do kind of the half dip where it just kind of goes straight across. What do you think would look best on my little stubby nail? This takes a steady hand. Yeah, so I think uh, you gotta watch your coffee intake for sure. So then this here is the JRJ polish again, which I really love. But this is a metallic polish that we use that's been really big, and I'm gonna use this to kind of come in here and draw the leaf details on this. Sparkly polish, it's not glitter. Yeah, this is metallic. So there's a big difference between like metallic and glitter. So glitter you see like the bigger chunks and things like that of um, the sparkle. The metallic is a really kind of smooth polish. This is something that I kind of really like for um, fall because like, you know, it's not like a, a turkey kind of thing for Thanksgiving, but it'll kind of like be great for the holidays. And I think a lot of people have been kind of doing this on maybe one or two nails. The rest, they would keep that um, bot base color. This is now the foil. So they kind of come in these little jars and what you do is you're kind of pulling this out and it kind of comes in like these little bits like this. So you can either put like big pieces on or you can kind of take smaller pieces up. I would maybe go here and pop that down and then you would just kind of stick it all along the nail wherever you want to see that kind of foiling just makes it really like a piece of art which is so fun. I always say like if you want to try nail art on your own this is like a really great one to do because you can't mess it up. So the only thing you need to do to get this to stay is apply a top coat to it. I think that's what's so fun about it now is that it doesn't just have to be like, you know, so black and white. Um, it can be navy. That's right, exactly. <laughs> My God, that, what a bold choice. <laughs> she's so different. <laughs> that Kara, she's so cool. So we have our three trends. We have got the nail art that is more abstract thinking, and then the abstract art on the other nail uh, with the foiling, and then you've got the negative space. Three great trends for the season and into 2018. So thank you to Molly and Spruce You're welcome. for showing us the nail trends for the fall and into the new year. Thank you yeah. for keeping me hip and up to date <laughs> You're so in welcome. the nail world. <laughs> I struggle. Anytime, Kara.